What's up, team? I'm sitting here enjoying breakfast. Pray everyone is having a beautiful morning so far. Tell y'all what I mean for breakfast. Some subs I made. Pumping around there. On a business call. What time is it? I didn't start working yet. What time is it? It's a... It's 8.54. Team, I got to be to work in six minutes. Let me tell you, there's some beautiful things about working from home. One, you ain't got to go nowhere and slave for nobody. And make them all the money. Two... If you don't feel like getting out of the bed at 9 o'clock, get out of bed, roll out of the bed at 11 o'clock. Three. You can start when you want. You can stop when you want. You can take a break when you want. Matter of fact, you don't have to take an hour break. When you want, you can take a two hour break. Let me tell you. Well, one and two really go together. But there are some bad things about working from home, too. I ain't gonna say bad, but. I feel like working from home, to be honest with you, made me a little lazy. I'm in no uh, I'm in one spot most of the day. Most of the jobs I had was like factory jobs. Factory jobs where I was just moving back and forth all day long. Uh, forklift jobs. But actually the last job I had, the last job I had, I, um, I was driving. I was driving for this company. I think about working for home though. You don't get to meet as much people. Cause on those jobs I used to meet a lot of people. I minister to a lot of people. I probably told you all this one job I had. Um in the five and a half years I was there, I think eight people got saved. And let me tell you something. That was all God because I wasn't even trying. I wasn't trying to win souls. Which we all should be trying to win souls, but I wasn't trying. But I would come to work and do I would do my work. Give me my Bible. That's it. So working at home can't make you lazy. And working at home put weight on you. Because I lost weight, team. I lost weight. I gave it right back. Me and Pumpkin. And we don't even eat. It ain't like we eat crazy. We don't even eat a whole lot. It ain't like we just sit here eating all day, all day. But I guess being in one spot, not really moving. That weight get on you. I'm working from home. If I don't feel like doing it today, do it tomorrow.
And the difference between me and Punker is I take Sunday off. Not for no religious reason. But I believe everybody should have at least one day off. She just work every day. And you gotta have a day off. Have time for family. You can't just work yourself, work yourself, work yourself. Everybody needs a day off. Everybody need a break. some good size to work from home. And there's the other side for working from home. Let me tell you, I worked on jobs where I slayed. I used to work at this brickyard where they made bricks. This is um it's over ten years ago. I used to go home and paint every day. Every day, man. Every day I went home with him. Body wet, aching every single day. And let me tell you, I had jobs where, where they just load you down. And most jobs now, one man gonna do a two man job. See, back in the day, you could tell people that ain't my job, that ain't my job. Now everything your job. Let me tell you something. I worked at the hospital when I first moved down here. I was clean up crew. Hold on, Tay. I'm gonna win. I was clean up crew. But one day, they paged me at the hospital. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm buffing and waxing floors. Um, I'm buffing and waxing floors. I'm shampooing carpet, cleaning ceilings. Now, I didn't make beds and stuff, but they taught me how to make beds, but I didn't make beds. And one day I get a call, I get paid to come carry a dead body with the security guard. I'm like, hold up. Now, how is this? I'm clean up crew. How is this my job? And tell you, I'm telling you, um, when we got here, I don't even know what they call that section. Let's just say morgue or icebox. I don't know. We got the body to where we was taking it. I slipped a little and I dropped the head and I'm like, I'm sorry. My reaction was to tell a body, I'm sorry. I dropped his head, bah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought who I laughed like. I think the security guards are laughing at me. I'm like, oops, I'm sorry. But I say that to say right now. I remember years ago, people used to be like, that ain't my job, and they wouldn't do it. When they asked to do certain things, they'd be like, that ain't my job. But now, you can't tell nobody that ain't your job. I don't care if they ask you to go outside and shovel some snow. You can't say cut the grass. You can't say that ain't my job. I don't care if you the secretary. They tell you to go outside and shovel that snow. <laughs> you better go shovel that snow. I'll be in the unemployment line. Another beautiful thing about working from home, I got some eye candy right across the room from me. Mm -hmm. Got eye candy right across the room.
the way, Tim. This sub is delicious. Y'all put Italian dressing on y'all sub? I also had jobs where they made you do mandatory overtime. I never like mandatory overtime. I've had jobs where I willingly did overtime, but not mandatory. I had a job that was like a hospital schedule. But it was 8 to 8. I worked 8 at night to 8 in the morning. You know, that's 12 hours. And the most you'll work is two days straight. Three days straight. The most you'll work is two days straight. You'll work two days. Be off two. You'll work three days. And I think be off three. So the most you'll work is three days in a row. I used to kill him. I worked, I'm talking about 12 hours. I worked 18 days in a row. That's how I originally, well, no, that ain't how I bought the photography equipment, but that's how I bought a lot of the photography equipment. That's how I bought a lot of the photography equipment. I was killing them. I worked 13 days in a row, 18 days in a row. I set a record. Could you believe we worked 18 days in a row? That there was a guy on the job who really didn't have no life. That he set out to beat my record. I'm over here trying to get money. I ain't trying to set no record. He trying to beat my record. But the most he did was 16 days. And there were people that, um, people that would say smart stuff in the cafeteria. I wouldn't respond, but I knew when they was talking to me. Like, one girl just come in there and said, talk loud. Like, everybody knew I was getting overtime. They knew I was killing them. I was getting that money. One girl, she came in the cafeteria and talking about, I ain't about to be here all the time doing no overtime. I got a life. And look, see, my thing was, see, I never cared about tax time. I cared about my money throughout the year. Never cared about tax time. Cared about Christmas. And that's when them young mothers, that's when they wanted the money. They didn't really want to be at work. That's when them young mothers wanted the money at Christmas time. And that's when they tried to get the overtime. Same girl that was telling me, I ain't going to be here all the time. I got a life. We're trying to get overtime around Christmas time. Get them gifts. And it didn't work. It didn't work because the supervisor on the other shift that we was working on, he was looking for reliable people, not people just trying to get overtime now because the holiday. So what happened was I got to the point where me and him were so cool I, I, I didn't even ask him could I come to work. I'm telling you the type of worker I was. I didn't even ask him could I come to work. I would wake up in the morning on my day off and go to work and sit in their meeting. The opposite shift. I would sit in their meeting and he'd tell me, Tron, I need you to run such and such machine. Then one time, you know what he'd do? If I came to work and he didn't have a machine for me to run, he would go to a young mother and I ain't saying nothing against young mothers, but I'm just letting you know. Because you can't go to an older person that know they got bills and think they want to go home. They don't want to go home. So he'll go to a young mother that like Hardy, that want to be out in the street, and he'll ask her, look, you want to go home? And the girl be like, yeah, yeah. And I run her machine. I get that money, I get that money to you. And tell him I had that money piling up. You know why? I ain't really do nothing. I ain't go nowhere. I wasn't dating nobody. I'd be sitting home. Really, once in a while, I treat myself to Ruby Tuesday. But other than that, 
I pay bills and let my money stack. Let my money stack. And then I got into photography. Bought some equipment. I feel like I'm just babbling to you. I feel like I'm just babbling. But anyway, bought some equipment. And that was that. I knew this girl. I started shooting her for free. Because I wasn't... Nobody knew I was doing photography yet. So I had to have somebody out there. Shooting her for free. Wow. We posting her pictures. Next thing you know, people start contacting me. Contacting me. Yeah. But anyway, team. I'm about to go back in the office. And let's see how late I am for work. Team, I am nine minutes late for work. Messing with y'all. If I get a write-up, I'm blaming y'all. 